Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter, we're going to take you back out to New York uh, and the federal court system where we had a verdict. Uh, Anthony Romanello, a.k.a. Rom, uh, skipper of the Corona Queens crew in the Genovese crime family, was convicted this week by a jury after about three days of deliberations um, on extortion and racketeering charges tied to uh, the collecting of a $90,000 debt. Uh, we talked about it in a previous quick hitter, uh, some Albanian and Albanian uh, steakhouse owner in 2017, uh, Bruno uh, Selimaj, uh, whose brother was in the movie Hidden Gems with, with Adam Sandler and is a guy that's been around wise guys his whole life. Um, the Romanello slash Tough Tony Federici crew uh, hung at a lot of these restaurants. Uh, Tough Tony is dead right now, and Romanello took over his his crew uh, when uh, Tough Tony got up to Consigliere, allegedly, in the, in the 2010s. Uh, and Bruno's nephew and nephew's brother-in-law ran up 90, 90K in... Sports gambling losses to a bookmaking operation uh, out of Queens and over a, about a three-month period between March of 2017 and May of 2017, Romanello, Federici, and their crew went through a whole process of trying to collect this debt, a number of visits and altercations culminating with this May of 17 um, punch that Romanello threw and, and connected uh, on, you know, in front of a lot of people at his steakhouse in Lincoln Square. Um, a couple days later, the debt's paid. Now, Romanello's attorney, Jerry McMahon, you know, he's, he's ace is one of the best criminal defense attorneys you'll find. Uh, and, you know, he argued that it was, you know, it was a personal issue between Bruno and Rom, uh, and the and the punch had to do with an insult and had nothing to do with collecting debt. That's clearly not the case. Uh, and I just want to say that I've been pretty vocal with my you know, condemnation or my crit critique of you know taking guys in their eighties uh, for you know gambling or taking monies from, from shakedowns uh, and wasting kind of resources on those guys to put them away and let them die in prison for kind of nickel and dime stuff. Uh, but I kind of feel differently with this. Romanello, although, you know, he's 87 years old, he's going to die in prison, barring a miracle. Uh, he's going to be sentenced to probably 40 years. He was, you know, he had about 24 hours of freedom between the verdict and when he got locked up the next day. Uh, his bodyguard, Joe Celso, uh, was also convicted and uh, locked up. Interestingly enough, uh, he was reprimanded by the judge when he was locked up this week, uh, because when he was waiting for the jury to come back with their verdict, there was a, I guess the Genovese Christmas party was taking place this past weekend. And Celso was seen by FBI agents there. Uh, I'm told uh, cavorting with some, some pretty big shot callers. Um, but now he's being, you know, uh, locked up until the sentencing in March. But again, I wanted to just finish up with, 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 with Rom, you know, there's one thing, you know, with the, with the Colombo bus from a couple of years ago with those guys in their 80s, ben, you know, Benji the Claw, Castellazzo and Andy Mushruso, uh, you know, they weren't physically going to collect debts. Uh, Romanello didn't just go confront Bruno Selmaj uh, about the debt and just his presence alone would be intimidation. But uh, he physically assaulted him. And... It was caught on tape. He didn't do it very, you know, with, with much intelligence. So, you know, you made your bed and you kind of got to sleep in it. And is it a shame for his family that he's probably going to die in prison? Yeah. But for a guy that's been pretty clean in terms of his record over the years, he had a some type of uh, criminal case, uh, racketeering of some sort uh, in the last 10, 15 years, go away because a witness uh, recanted testimony. But, uh, you know, it's the end of the line for Rom. Uh, we'll see what happens with that Corona Queens crew. 
But, uh, you know, Romanello is going to be doing about a 40 piece. He was convicted this week. Joe Celso has probably got about five, 10 years coming uh, down the pike for him. It's, it's, it's also just want to point out again, it's interesting that, you know, the prosecutors and, and the judge mentioned this Genevieve's Christmas party that was going on this weekend. Uh, you know, these, these feds, they keep tabs on all those parties. And, and some people can't believe that, you know, crime families have Christmas parties, just like, you know, a mortgage company or a, uh, a law firm, but, but they do. So uh, Anthony Ram Ramanello convicted 87 years old. He'll be off the street. We'll try to get you some information on who's going to be replacing him as the skipper uh, with, with that uh, uh, Genovese crew out of Corona Queens. Scott Bernstein, OG pod out. Mm-hmm.